Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so, you guys know I don't really tend to make videos about YouTube drama or community drama or recent events or anything like that. Make Anything is really just about making really cool projects and getting people excited about 3D printing, art, and design. That said, uh, I woke up this morning seeing a lot of stuff about GPL violations and I looked into it a bit and I figured I should probably say something because it does affect the 3D printing community and how awesome it continues to be. So uh, yeah, I guess this is a little bit of a rant, uh, maybe boring compared to what I normally do, but I also think it's very important if you're interested in 3D printing. So the controversy right now is that uh, Creality, among many other 3D printing companies, are violating the open source GPL license that is part of the Marlin firmware that they are using to run their printers. So Marlin firmware was created by a company. Um, it's open source, which means they give it out for free. Any company that built a 3D printer can take Marlin firmware and use that as kind of the operating system for which to run their printer on. And it works great and it's awesome. They're even allowed to make changes, but they're required under this GPL license to share those modifications with the people who own the printers. Under some pressure, Creality did release the source code for the CR10, but they didn't release the source for the CR10S. And that has this function that allows you to resume a print after the power runs out or something. The specifics aren't really important, but basically they're violating the license. They're not releasing the changes they've made or their, their specific version uh, that's based on this open source Marlin firmware, which is unhealthy for the 3D printing community because we rely on this open source license to propagate 3D printing and have it grow as quickly as it possibly can and reach as many people as it can. I was gonna release a CR10S and CR10S4 review like this week, but that's gonna be on hold until further notice, uh, really until Creality takes action and releases that CR10S firmware. I'm releasing this video because hopefully my action and uh, a lot of other high profile community members talking about this and bringing it up and kind of boycotting CR10 until further notice. Hopefully that will send the message very clearly and Creality will act upon it very quickly. Quite frankly, I like CR10 printers. They work well, but uh, this is unacceptable. So yeah, I do have a lot of projects I've already made and that uh, will be coming out further down the line that were made with the CR10 and CR10S printers but uh, the reviews I'm gonna put on hold and moving forward, I'll probably start using different printers more often until uh, something is done about this because we can't just let things slide. 3D printing is very community oriented, so uh, we have to take action as a community. All right, that's really all I'll say about it for now. I just wanted to spread the awareness of the problem and uh, hopefully force Creality to make some changes if they wanna continue receiving support from the YouTube community. All right, I guess if anything happens, I'll post about it on Twitter, at MakeAnything3D, so you can follow me there. But uh, until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired. Cheers.